Let me show you looking at our downtown Marriott City View camera at the airport. Look at the current temperature, 85 degrees still. A south wind at 10 miles an hour, your heat index at 87. Dew point at 65, so that's not quite the 70s we had earlier this week. Ragweed still high and rising, and Cladosporium mold is still high as well. Skycast is still projected to be in the yellow again tomorrow, but I think at least two out of three will start to improve. Mold count will still be pretty high because of the rain chances we have coming in. Temperatures in the 80s and the 90s. Marshall, 90 degrees right now, 85 in Kansas City, 92 degrees out toward Ottawa, 88 degrees in Butler. Look at clouds and radar along with me. We have a virtually crystal clear sky, not many clouds to speak of. That low humidity, at least in the upper levels, mid levels, and low levels of the atmosphere, not blotting out the sun much at all. You go farther to the east, eastern portions of Iowa into Illinois. That's where we run into patches of clouds, but I'm going to keep our looking out to the west for our changes. But for tonight, as Kelly and Laura mentioned, mostly sunny skies and dry for high school football. 83 degrees for kickoff. Halftime still rather humid. 78 year halftime temperature and then mostly warm and dry by the post game and about 76 degrees. Looking at our low temperatures across the area tonight, once again in those 60s, some in the middle 60s like Trenton and St. Joseph. Upper 60s as you're heading toward Ottawa and mid 60s down toward Butler at 65, Kansas City 69 degrees. Also the same thing for Roland Park. Look at our hour by hour forecast tomorrow. 69 in the morning, haze, increasing clouds throughout the day. Still thinking the bulk of the day is going to be dry, but we're going to introduce about a 20% chance of some showers by two. I'm thinking it'll be later than that. More likely after we go toward the evening hours. And I'm thinking like uh, right towards sunset and then during the overnight hours too. But before that happens, still another warm day with temperatures into the 80s and almost near 90 degrees right ahead of the frontal system. 84 for a high temperature in Maryville, just for comparison's sake, and middle 80s just about everywhere else. And then talking about the severe weather threat, let's just call it strongest thunderstorms right now. Still think northwest Missouri, eastern portions of Kansas, the timeline between 7 o'clock and 11 o'clock. The main threats will be gusty winds, some possible flooding, but these storms are going to move through pretty rapidly. Also, some of the other concerns could be a little bit of hail. But uh, as you see on future scan, it'll be hit and miss at least to start things off at 7 o'clock. As we roll through the evening hours by 10 o'clock, here comes that good chance of rain and thunderstorms rolling through the region by 1 or 2 in the morning, slackening off a little bit temperature at 70. Then as we go towards, say, the morning hours, another way we'll try to develop. But I'm thinking by, say, that would be 8 in the morning on Sunday, most of the rain should try to get out of here it's right in time, I think. So the later in the afternoon you go, the more likely the Chiefs game should be dry. Tailgating, not so much, but at least the game itself is looking fairly good. 69 to 86 degrees, that 80% chance coming in by evening through the overnight hours and ending by afternoon, hopefully on Sunday. Cooler, 72, 52 to 68 degrees on Monday, still cool, 47 to 70 degrees on Tuesday, near 50 for a few mornings, afternoon highs in the 70s.